what's up guys welcome to crypto savvy channel i am craig we're going to be going over the charts for bitcoin everything is playing out exactly as we have been expecting we're going to take a look at what's going on now will we will we get a bounce soon where from are we not going to bounce we're going to talk about that we're going to start out in the bigger time frames and move down to the smaller we'll also be taking a look at ethereum litecoin xrp the dow jones gold silver and the dxy if you're not watching all these then the chances are that you're not going to be seeing what's going on as a whole in the market so if you're new here make sure you subscribe definitely scroll down smash up that like button and leave your comments below let me know what you think of the video i want to do a live stream tonight so if we get a thousand likes on this video i will be doing a live stream tonight this evening but we need to get a thousand likes um and that'll make it worth it so anyways let's get on with it you guys know my amazon chart if you are new here you can check back all my previous videos i started talking about this on my first video uh, december 2nd was where i discovered this and started talking about it it is playing out almost perfectly right now we'll see if it stays valid or if it gets invalidated we're going to talk about what's going on so let's get into it well first we're going to start out with the monthly i um, mean i'm going to make this a super fast video just kind of zip through uh, if we do a live tonight, it will be more detailed, so make sure you smash the like. All right, so let's take a look at the monthly. We talked about this being three black crows. Uh, we'll see how the monthly closes, but so far it looks pretty bad for Bitcoin. Uh, three black crows is usually a sign of a major trend reversal. Our trend was up. This is the reversal. So let's take a look at the weekly. So this is the weekly chart. We had been watching this weekly RSI for a rejection right here. You can see it's circled. I talked about it before it even hit. Uh, it did get rejected big time right around our target. And if we look at where we're at now, so this is going to be your major area to watch for today and the next few days. If Bitcoin gets a bounce here, uh, which it most likely will is around the 33 460 33 5 range but a lot of times when everybody's i'm just going to give you this warning a lot of times when everyone's expecting a bounce like they will be here a bunch of people will probably enter longs and a lot of times that ends up being a major long squeeze pushing to the downside more as you guys know i do have a target down here to from the mid to lower 20s um, as the first area to look for a decent bounce if we get it um, as you guys know the longer term charts that i've talked about in the amazon brings us to a bottom around 2023 right to the middle or end of 2023 if that does play out obviously there's no guarantees in any market what i do here is share my opinion and how i get my opinion i don't just make up numbers okay so let's take a look at <clears throat> Uh, this area right here so we're we already tested this one two three times this will be the fourth test we only tagged the top twice um, usually the more you hit a support the more likely it is to break remember that if you guys are interested in trading i do suggest checking out prime xbt by far my favorite exchange they're not a scammy casino exchange that trades against their customers um, and just liquidates everybody like most of the scammy ones. And the, the thing I like about it, if you're new, there is a contest section where you can uh, trade for, with fake money and learn the platform, learn how to do trades before jumping in, throwing all your money in and losing your money like most people do. You can start out um, for free with free fake money. And then if you have a strategy that works, then put in five or 10 bucks and try trading if that's uh, what you're trying to do. Uh, there is a link down below for Prime XBT. You can also check out my tutorial on it right here. Uh, there's also some other tutorials here, but the Prime XBT tutorial will show you how to where to put in my promo code Savvy50. That'll get you a, up to a seven thousand dollar bonus to use for your trading when you do open an actual account. Savvy25 will get you twenty five percent off of your trading fees. Definitely check it out if you have not. All right, let's take a look at the daily. So the daily has played out just like we thought. The big bull trap that we were expecting. Everybody says, you were calling for 10K here. I was not calling for 10K. I was calling for a ABC bull trap, which we got. It went a little higher than I thought. Ended up being a bull trap plus a stop hunt from over here. 
now we are in our continuation down we've been watching this on the rsi looking for a possible retest of this trend line we are looking like we are forming if you look at this there's a left shoulder head right shoulder and we are breaking the shoulder uh that being uh, inverse head and shoulders on the rsi showing for a good possibility of more downside um that would be retesting this that would be around the twenty thousand. I'm sorry, the mid to lower $20,000 range. This measure move target is 23.3. Now, if we look at the four hour, the four hour is pretty much the same type. It's This is, I'll show you. This is very small. It's a fractal we talked about in yesterday's video, if you didn't watch it. But this is the first rising broadening wedge here. And then we have a little four hour rising broadening wedge here. This is showing the possibility to getting down to around 30,000 before a bounce. But we talked about this yesterday. We hit our first target uh, the other day. We dropped down. We were looking for a bounce around in this area. We went a little bit lower. We went to around 30, 34, 350. Uh, but we, we could possibly come back up to test this 36.8. I don't see it going much higher than that if it even gets up there. But if we break down and open and close a four hour below this 35.2 range, then I see us most likely heading back down to this range. But if we look here, this does look like a, a bear flag forming here. So let's take a look at that. Also, you can see on the RSI, we could come up back to this range. It is possible uh, to retest this trend line right here where i have the arrow so let's take a measured move if this is a bear flag we're looking at right here uh let's measure the flag pull put it down to the bear flag if it was to break around here that gets us around the 31 3 range so i'm going to go ahead and just throw another uh, price label on there uh, just for reference so looking for this area if we do open and close a four hour candle or start closing four hour opening and closing the same candle open and close below 32 uh, thousand or i'm sorry 35,200, and then i see us coming down back down to these levels you can see our rsi has reset for more downside um taking a look at the lux algo indicator i'm going to go through this real quick and just show you it is playing out beautifully on the daily chart. It had the strong sell signal here. We were watching. This was green yesterday as a support like this was over here. I talked about first time got a bounce, second time broke through. Same thing up here. First time got a bounce, second time we broke through. Once we broke through, uh, did not come back down. Just like right here, or go back up. Uh, we got our first bounce, second test, broke under, never got back above. And that's what we've done now. And if we look at where it's went prior, it got back down into our ribbon down here um, each time. So the top of the ribbon as of right now is around 29.9. Bottom as of right now is around 23.2. So it all matches up perfectly. It does look like we could definitely be headed door towards the lower to mid 20s. Um, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, check out my wife's webpage, anchorimage.com. That link is also down below. Guys, if you see links down below, I don't put a bunch of exchange links, not trying to scam people. The links that I have down below are things I actually use and I trust. So just so you guys know. But check out her page. She's got a lot of cool crypto stuff on here. I think she put a couple new ones on yesterday in the crypto section. But great gift ideas, all kinds of stuff. And again, it helps support the channel. And also... Smashing that like button helps support the channel. Get a thousand likes, and we do a live tonight. So let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum has broken back below support. Guys, I've had these charts, the exact same charts, for months. I have not changed anything. So our next target here is going to be around the 1850. Um, and if that breaks, we and if we are in the Amazon type bear market, the dot com bubble burst, uh, we could be seeing you know anywhere from 200 to 700 dollar Ethereum by the middle to end of 2023. Litecoin, same thing. We talked about our rejection in our area. I told you if we got over 118, then maybe we could start looking bullish again. But guys, I see Bitcoin down to, or Litecoin, especially if Bitcoin is in the long-term bear market, like I believe it to be, Litecoin could be 25 bucks, possibly much less. XRP, 
same thing nothing changed these charts are super old you can go back and watch my videos guys uh, i see it coming down to at least the 26 cents if we are in that long-term bear market possibly much 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 lower so we'll be keeping an eye on all this stuff make sure you're subscribed um and the dow jones we talked about this when we opened and closed daily up here under this support guys if we look for the measured move of this on the dow let me put that in there real quick for you and this would be at least in my opinion we would at least be looking for this target right around this range uh right around the thirty thousand eight hundred thirty one thousand dollar range that is my price target for where i see the dow getting a bounce if it does um that's not to say we can't come back up and retest this and get some kind of relief rally we may see that tomorrow on friday a lot of times you see that on friday so uh, be aware of that be careful gold as you guys know we had the target of 1970 it did hit and got a massive rejection um we are still above this wedge though remember i talked about it yesterday as long as we're above 1916 uh gold is bullish or could be bullish as long as we can open and close a daily so this one opened below until we open and close a daily above this then we can get bullish because that will show support on this uh top trend line and then we have the target up to about 20 or 2080 right in that range but we could have been topped out here this was our target if you guys have been watching um so we talked about this right here 2484 open and close above that on silver and then it gets bullish until then it's still bearish also just like gold and a lot of people think gold goes up when the market goes down if you look i've showed in prior videos for those of you that have been around a while the only thing that goes up when the markets crash and actually goes up like when we have a real crash um is the dxy everything else gold silver everything drops i've shown it in past videos uh so the dxy is still bullish almost to our target that i have had for literally uh since we broke out over here uh august of 21 uh we made these targets our first targets almost hit then we have our second target but you guys know the big picture uh if we put it on the weekly this is what i'm looking for all the way up to this range when we hit this range i think that'll be when markets bottom um it's happened every other time back here uh every time so that's what i'm looking at in the huge picture and i appreciate you guys stopping by don't forget if we get a thousand likes on this video i will be doing a live tonight so don't forget smash those likes guys take it easy have a great day hope everyone's trading safe out there and i want to thank you all i do appreciate your support have a great day